one revolution. Look, Marquardt's on standby. Log online. Sam page loaded and ready. Player stats loaded. Health check. Go. Weapons check. Ice check. Complete. We have launch for the informant podcast in five, four, three, two, one. Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 12 of the Informant Podcast, where family is first. I'm your host tonight. I'm Mig Chainsaw Chester, and with me tonight we've got Pete, who is Pistol Pete from Spock Home. Live long and prosper. We've got Jennifer, the Mafia Wars loot lady. And last, but certainly not least, we've got Jana, Mig Death by Gucci. Hello, everybody. Hey, Hi. Chester. How's everybody doing tonight? Hi, Chester. Hi, Jennifer. Nice. I'm in a great mood. Phenomenal. I'm doing good. Great. So phenomenal, very good, and great. What about you, Chester? I'm alive. A lot of stuff to cover tonight. First one is probably Jennifer's favorite thing, which is the uh, gift that was there and then wasn't there. What was up with that? I wrote about these virtual gift cards you could send to each other. And for about half a day, they appeared on the gifting page. And you would click on it, and then it brought you to the page where you had to actually pay for it. Mm-hmm. So it wasn't free at all. Ah, so it was really sneaky. It was just, it was sneaky, yeah. When you get to the page, you pretty much know you have to pay for it. So it's not like you could accidentally pay for it. Like in some of the cases where the reward point button is close to something you would normally click. For a long time there, they never had an in-game feature to buy them, which I think is great that they finally do. You know, we've used it to our advantage here on the Informant Podcast with the giveaways we've been doing. And, you know, the Thanksgiving giveaway, we're planning on giving away a $25 gift card, which if we weren't able to do that, then we're having to get into getting people's home addresses to mail them, and it gets kind of messy. We've been having issues. One of our people here, he has been having tons of issues with Zynga and getting the gift card codes. Yeah. So for some of you who may not have gotten gift card codes, please be aware that Zynga is at the uh, root of this, and we're trying to get through. I'm kind of curious as to what Pete's got going on this week. Uh, the big thing that we've got going over on Spock Home is we've had a lot of changes. Zynga changed the format of the game again, so some of our bookmarklets broke, and most of those have been repaired by Martin. The ones that affect those particular elements of the game, like Repeat Job Vegas and some of those but the other thing we're working on is we're actually putting together a site separate from the Facebook page that isn't completely ready for public consumption yet but probably by the time this airs it'll be getting close that's going to allow people to go in and submit comments because our biggest challenge that we've always had as two people kind of managing the forums and everything is there's lots of topics that get repeated over and over and over again and we're constantly retyping information And so what we thought was, well, let's look and see if we can find a slight solution that would allow us to post these frequently asked questions. good example is, you know, there's constantly now with Lincolnator and Getnator and some of these that the Facebook session dies on the individuals. And so the bookmarklets don't work. They get errors and so on. And usually all that it takes to fix it is just reloading the browser, you know, going back through Facebook and unframing again then all of a sudden everything works fine. So we're hoping that by having this external site to manage questions and answers and really get down to that when people want new features and stuff, then we've got a way to sort of track all this information will be a lot better for the fans. And things are just growing. Lincolnator's already gotten access to the Serial Assassins event that's just now started in Mafia Wars. We're already prepared for that, so when you want to get those killer bees or whatever that is, then... They're already going to be available to the Lincolnator and the Getinator, and things are moving forward. That's kind of it in a nutshell for me. Speaking about needing to get stuff done again and again, you were talking earlier about the mulligan in the last episode, and it's uh, apparently changed, hasn't it? Oh, yes. It's now one reward point instead of three, but it's still not worth it. Yeah. And but- like Pete was talking about earlier, the button to actually spend the one reward point is located where the old send a thank you gift used to be so you have to be careful and what i don't get is like on the properties if you want to use reward points to upgrade your property there's a verification it says are you sure you want to do this and you click yes 
And I don't know why that's not on some of the other things. Like if you want to buy consumables or a mulligan. Yeah, it seems I would, like the I one would, should be there, definitely. Yeah, I would love to have one on the uh, energy pack. Because every once in a while you'll be clicking and the page will be slow. And you'll accidentally click that stupid thing. Oh, just when you're like a hundred. <laughs> so irritating. Oh, yes. So now we've wasted that. You get to keep 25% of it, though. That doesn't <laughs> help me. I know. It's, it's disgusting if you yeah. use that much energy. If, if I have that and then I level up, they should put my leveled up energy on top of that. Well, they're discussing that. If you go to the forum boards, there's a poll that they've asked us to take. And we vote on what issues we would like to see new in the game. And one of those issues was energy carryover. So any extra energy you have that you would lose when you level up would be brought to the next level, which would be awesome. Oh, I would love that. Well, that that's, yeah. that's a topic that's been out there for a year and a Forever. half. Forever, yeah. And they, but they, it's it's on the poll, so... Well, it means maybe they'll they finally get around it. to doing it. But, yeah, it, that's one that everybody's been asking for forever. So, Jen, you're also talking about uh, the Lucky Stash loot now? There's new Lucky Stash loot. I'm bad about that slot machine. There's so much to do in the game, I always forget to play it. Once you spin it 20 times, you get a, a bonus screen. You click on bonus, and you can get a loot item or reward points. So you spin it... And if it lands on loot, you get a new item, and there's new um, Lucky Stash loot now. Is it good loot? Yeah, it just it's pretty crap good. Like I usually get. It's pretty good stuff. There's pictures of it on my blog. Cool. <laughs> Which also gets put on the Informed Podcast page, doesn't yes. it? Yes. Every time I post an article, it goes to the fan page. How do we get to you otherwise? mwlootlady.blogspot.com. Awesome. Cool. Or Mafia Wars Loot Lady on Facebook. That's right. Thank so have, have any of you gone on and used the Mafia Wars on Yahoo? I have. And I actually wrote about it for Zanga on their official blog. Mm -hmm. If you decide to play on Yahoo, you have to start over. And you want to make sure you sign up with the promotional code, which can be found on the Mafia Wars blog. Because if you do, you'll get eight um, limited edition loot items that have good stats. So you'll start out with eight good loot items. It's yeah, Pete was talking about the serial assassins earlier. Okay. And we're not talking about killing Cheerios or stuff like that. <laughs> Taking out yeah. the no. <laughs> Well, serial assassins are like the gifting events. Um, infiltrate, or ooh, I'm sorry. Rendezvous at the Pentagon, um, prize pigs, masked robbery, and now we have serial assassins. And they leave calling cards after they kill people, and those are the gifts. And when you collect enough of them, you get an armor item, which is the serial assassin of Choi, of the one that's go going on currently, is um, the dead bee, is what we're sending to each other. Cool. Once we get all three of them and the mastery item, then we can repeat the event two more times, just like um, Rendezvous at the Pentagon. Nice. So everything's I was the hoping. same, just the items and the... Yeah, and the, the stats are pretty good, considering you can get them three times. I love it. Yeah, the grand prize is and gunpowdered a... milk. 134 attack and 105 defense. Okay, thank you, everyone. We're going to cut away to a commercial, and we will be right back. Hi, everybody. Come down to Crazy Pistol Pete's. We've got a crazy contest coming up. This just in. Our informant crew get to have a sit-down with Evil Ed for the first time since our departure from the show. We discuss his feelings about the game and the Mafia Wars community. So, Ed... Let's start with discussing your feelings on the game. What do you think about Mafia Wars? I never liked a text-based Flash game. I mean, I think for me it's boring. That's interesting. The players of Mafia Wars are very passionate about the game. So what is your perception of these remarkable people? Every person that's a part of this group, though, every person that's a part of this Mafia Wars community, they're just f***ing dingbats, man. They're whack jobs. So, Ed, what is your take on the fact that CBS called Mafia War players a bunch of addicts and said that we weren't healthy. Actually, CBS was pretty much right. They nailed it on. They nailed the the, the nail on the head. Um, it's just uh, it's an addiction for a lot of 
of people. Well, Ed, as everybody can tell, we have fundamental differences between the way we think and the way you think. Uh, that's why we have our new show, The Informant Podcast, where family is first. On that note, what do you think about our show? Do you think it's going to be successful? Your show's going to take off. Well, thank you for those kind words. I appreciate that. You, you know, there, there are other people that have uh, other podcasts going on, like Mr. John Sweeney. What, what do you think about him and, and his podcast? John was the first person to f*** this up by doing his little John blog radio f- shit podcast. Jeez, Ed, those are some pretty darn harsh words. Um, I don't even know what to say. Because either you're with me or you're against me. So, all right, Ed, come on, come on. Take a guess. How many listeners do you think we're going to have? 6,000 listeners. 6,000? That's a reasonable guess. But no, actually, we've had over 7,000 listeners since we've started the show about a month ago. i got to ask you this final question. What do you think the fans will think about this? And it was funny as hell. Leave it at that. That'll be pretty safe. And we're back from our break. Hey, Chester, what's been going on there in the family world? Oh, Families are moving. Everything's are they? moving. Everything's yes, I've, I've seen a little movement. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes, there's been a little movement here and there. We have more information on the Mafia Wars players for charity. The mock war event that's going to go on in December from the 10th to the 12th. I can't wait. Yeah, so we found out it's going to be Friday, December 10th at 6 p.m. is the start date. And it's going to stop uh, December 12th at 10 p.m. And that's central. Fair enough. And again, what's going to be going on is we are going to ask people to donate two dollars for yourself. Um, you can put in another two bucks and have somebody else come play. Put ten bucks in, get five people in, uh, and all the money is going to be split between two charities. You've got the Wounded Warrior Project uh, that is for uh, wounded vets that come back; it helps them. And then you have the St. Jude's uh, mm-hmm. Children's Hospital. So these are two great charities that we're trying to raise money for for this uh, Christmas. Yes. And so jump in. Uh, we have information on our uh, website, theinformatpodcast.com. Uh, it's also going to be on the Facebook page for Informant Podcast. Mm-hmm. And you will be able now to get to the Mafia Wars Players for Charity page. Uh, we used to have it as private until you paid money. Well, now we're just going to open it up to the public and let everybody come in. Um, you can donate and not even play if you don't want to. That's perfectly fine. We just want everybody to come out there and have fun. So spend your two bucks, get in, a bunch of great prizes. You got the Mafia Wars gift cards, a lot of sets, high-end loot uh, from Vegas, Bangkok, and Moscow. You got Mafia Wars hats, T-shirts, and a whole lot of other stuff that we're not talking about yet. I'm so much more fulfilled when I'm playing for a charity than just randomly playing. I just think it's good karma, people. It's absolutely good karma. You want Santa to come see you. That's right. So jump on here and have fun because you're not going to be fighting just for your family anymore. You're just fighting for a great cause and everybody just has a blast. So if you use Skype, there'll be Skype rooms open. You'll really, really, really have a great time when you do this. So don't need to be part of a a family or anything. 